Good evening, everyone. It's Sunday evening. Yes, and it's the 10th of March, 2024. A while ago, I posted a message that Michael Smith did, which was this morning. And again, he was talking about particular redemption and he was also talking about the importance of the um, satisfaction of the work of Christ and then you take a look at that I'm going to do a little summary of that message he did this morning. He talked about the 53rd chapter of Isaiah and starts out in the 53rd chapter of Isaiah, Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Well, I can tell you who's believed his report those who received the faith of Christ, those who've been predestinated. I can also tell you to whom the arm of the Lord has been revealed. Those that have been given to Christ by the Father. That's who the arm of the Lord has been revealed to. It says that um, he was brought as a lamb to the slaughter. Verse 7. And as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. And it says that, verse 8, For the transgressions of my people was he, was he stricken. For the transgressions of my people he was stricken. Verse 10, Thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed. And it says in verse 11, he shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge. Shall my righteous servant justify many, not all. Shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall bear their iniquities. He was numbered with the transgressors. He bare the sin of many, not all. And made intercession for the transgressors. He, he finished the work that he started out to do when he was born into Bethlehem. It says that he came to save his people from their sins, and he did it. And we find that in Romans 8, that he... Uh, He did all of these things for his people. You might want to take a look at Romans 8.33. I'm going to give you several passages of scripture to look up. The slate's been cleared and cleaned for all of God's elect. God is a servant favorite. Uh, God is the faithful servant. All of the church has been, been cleansed by Christ's blood. They've been set apart by God himself. The spotless lamb is the only one that is worthy. We can look at the proof of what Christ did. In Titus 2.14, Ephesians 5.2, and Galatians 1.4. We see that he's a propitiation for our sins. God's wrath was appeased when Christ laid his life down. 
1 John 1 7, 1 John 4 10. Whenever it refers to the world, it's usually referring to both Jew and Gentile. Not all men without exception. In Acts 13 48, we read that when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad, and as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. We also see in Revelation 5 9 that he has people from every tongue, every people, and every nation. And Christ's death is the confirmation of the effectual work of his blood on the cross for us. A lot of times people don't realize the power of Christ's effectual blood. God's purpose is in his electing grace. There's no room for us to boast. For by grace are you saved through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. God's mercy and grace is what we've been recipients of. Everyone for whom Christ died has been effectually called. And what God has set out to do, He has accomplished. Being justified by His grace, receiving the imputed righteousness of Jesus Christ. <coughs> he paid a ransom for many, and the payment was made, the surety for our justification. Christ bore all of his elect's iniquities on the cruel and rugged cross. We were not appointed unto wrath, but we obtained, we obtained salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, by his death on the cross. Just a few notes from this morning's sermon. Again, check it out. It's on Facebook there, or it's on Sermon Audio. I mean, um, it's on uh, Truth Social, and it's also on Gab, and MeWe, and LinkedIn, and OK, and Blogger, and uh, MeWe, and I, it's on, I put it on all those platforms. Y'all have a good evening. God bless. You can have.